welcome to biosmith friends so today uh, we will check the next part of crispr cas9 genomedic technology so if if you have not checked the first part yet you can have the link in my i mean in the description box of this video uh, first check that video because uh, in in that video we have discussed about the this adaptive immunity or you can say there some immune system adaptive immunity need, uh, adaptive immunity obviously uh, system of bacteria how it works and how bacteria defends defend itself uh, from further viral attack or something like that now how the genome editing is happening today we will look so in short uh, in my last video we have checked that this is the virus dna okay and this is the effector complex right with the crrna that is a spacer sequence that is foreign to the bacteria that means it's the viral part and along with some palindromic repeats with tracer RNA uh, complementary to it. The tracer RNA is what? Complementary to the palindromic repeats. So what happens uh, when uh, genetically engineering is happening uh, on this part, so this part can be joined, right? And if this part that is tracer RNA and CR RNA is joined, we will call it sgRNA or single guide RNA or guide RNA you can call it guide RNA and remember one thing this is 20 nucleotide sequence RNA okay and this sgRNA can be synthesized or engineered uh, lab in the in the lab right now remember the effector complex was crRNA plus tracer RNA and cas9 right now these two is now called as sgRNA or guide RNA guide means the name suggests that it will guide something so it will guide the cas9 actually so now effector complex is sgRNA plus cas9 right so what happens this guide RNA actually directs as I have written here the cas9 endonucleus how it actually binds uh, here I have written that it actually binds the upstream of the 5 prime ngg 3 prime or 5 prime energy 3 prime n means any nucleotide a u g c anything okay so if the guide rna can detect this sequence on the upstream of this 5 prime ngg so at that position cas9 will snip it or cut it right so cas9 I, i'm sorry sgrna is itself a 20 nucleotide sequence and then it comes three more ngg or NAG so after the cleavage what will you get 23 base pair target will be uh, uh, i mean at the last after the cleavage so 23 base pair target will be clipped right here i have tried to uh, draw a simple diagram to make you understood that this is the uh, i mean uh, this is the uh, dna right now here is the NAG or NGG part. So this is 5 prime, this is 3 prime, right? This is the viral DNA obviously. So the sgRNA will attach to this part or this part. Okay, this is the same, right? So guide RNA will attach to this. Now what is happening here? You can see it will recruit Cas9. Okay, and Cas9 will cut as I have said at the position of the NAG or NGG right so here it will be or it will cut right Cas9 is recruited by guide RNA and guide RNA will be uh, I mean guide RNA will uh, see, uh, see where the 5 prime energy or NGG part right so what will happening here the dissociation of the uh, after the dissociation of the guide RNA here the guide RNA will be dissociated and you can have the edited you can say the edited DNA not uh, repaired but edited but you can see here there is a gap so it's needed to be edit, uh, repaired right so it can be something uh, inserted in the gap or something can be deleted also or something homology directed repair can also happen so we'll now look what are the repair mechanisms right now after cutting of the DNA uh, the double stranded break by Cas9 so there are two type of repair mechanisms can be initiated one is hdr or homology direct homology directed repair and another is nheg ej i'm sorry 
that is non homologous end joining so homologous uh, directed repair is actually like that uh, let's take the diagram you can understood you can understand that let's say this is the uh, edited product of the viral dna right now there will be one donor dna now this part is homology to it and this part is homology to it right and now what will happen it will look like now i am marking the the homology part like this let's say the dark blue so this right so actually we can say that uh, the size is maintained here because this part is here cut and now something is joined here so you can say the size is maintained and remember one thing there is there must be on a uh, one donor dna or template dna right for homology directed repair for non homologous end joining what is happening here here indel will happen indel means either insertion or deletion of nucleotide so sometimes what happen that uh, let's say and they are normal so something is deleted and just this is joined okay so this is you can uh, call it a deletion okay but if uh, this is because deleted and if something is like that suppose something is added here okay so what is happening here now these are base pairs actually i am just writing uh, i am just drawing it uh, by drawing some lines but these are not lines these are base pairs okay so this is can be called insertion or both you can call as indel right insertion deletion so here you can see the size is uh, getting longer and here is lesser because something is deleted here correct so here size is not maintained and here you can see unlike the hdr there is no donor dna or or template dna okay so these are the repair mechanisms of the uh, crispr cas uh, uh, system homology directed repair and non homologous end joining now this actually have so many applications uh, in the new era like you can you have heard some uh, car t cell about cap car t cells i think the full form is something antigen receptor t cell chimeric antigen receptor t cell so what happens in that case uh, actually the t cells okay uh, this will be extracted from the present and it will be edited and repaired and, uh, more or less uh, in, in one word it will be engineered okay to express something uh, uh, that, that is antigenic receptor or type uh, uh, i mean like that okay so the t cells are extracted from the patients and engineered okay and then reinjected into the body after getting engineered right so so that it can uh, be used as a 
immunotherapy for cancer okay so crispr has an application on cancer similarly some in plant organism also uh, some genes are uh, getting edited or treated or engineered by crispr cas mechanism similarly in aids in ivfs also uh, the crispr cas mechanism is heavily used and genetically modified uh, cells or genes are reinjected into the body to get fresh and healthy genes right so that's why crispr cas is very much important and it's a great discovery that's why two scientists you know that jennifer dorna and emmanuel charpentier they got the nobel prize right in chemistry obviously so this is the crispr cas mechanism so how it's uh, how it works in bacterial adaptive immune system and how this principle or theory is used uh, to edit or to engineer uh, better cells or better genes for prokaryotes and eukaryotes also uh, we have discussed here so thank you